it's Lisa here and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, happy new year to everyone. I hope it's not too late to say this because it's already the 4th of January, but anyway, happy new year. I hope you are going to have an amazing new year and I hope it's gonna be better than last year. <laughs> and yeah. So anyways, we are building something totally different than usual today. <laughs> we are building a nightclub and it also looks like a little bit more modern. And that was a weird voice crack now, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bit more modern and yeah, it's something I don't really do normally, but I thought I'm in the mood to do this. <laughs> I originally wanted to have this up on the 30, wait, 31st? Yeah, on the 31st of December, but uh, it uh, didn't work out because I went on a holiday and I didn't have the time to do a voiceover for that. Um, but I thought it was kind of fun to have it like, I don't know, for me, I definitely miss to go to nightclubs. <laughs> I'm not a person who needs to go there like every weekend, but every now and then I like to have some fun <laughs> and go to a, like some kind of club and yeah, just like a new year is a nice celebration thing and like that's just something I would love to have and <laughs> so therefore I decided to build something which I would like to like where I would maybe want to be well, okay, not technically. I think for your Sims, this house is really, or this nightclub here is very nice. But if I think, like, I don't think that I would want to be here in real life, <laughs> thinking about it now, because there is a pool and also a whirlpool and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know, I, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable there. I think if it's like a club and people go swimming there and, and, and no, I don't know, <laughs> that's not my kind of vibe. Um, but I just, I, I think the whole thing here turned out looking so beautiful you could also just turn it into some kind of launch maybe like launch am i pronouncing that right <laughs> like it doesn't have to be a club but i was just in the mood to do that and i thought it's maybe a little bit more on the expensive side so that it's maybe more for like celebrities and um, yeah, the upper class people, if you say so. Um, yeah, it's also in the uptown district of San Michuno. It's the one in the bottom, like in the middle, I think, or bottom right, somewhere in that area. I think in the same region, there are those super huge penthouses, not penthouses, those super huge apartments like... Uh, the three-story one as well, which I'm still super afraid of renovating because it's gonna take me ages and um, yeah. But this is where this house is and the apartment is and it's a 40 by 30 and the lot was originally called Stargazer Lounge. You can still see that in the bottom top, top left corner. Oh my god, words. <laughs> and yeah, so as you can see, I'm trying to figure out the floor plan a little bit and try to see where everything goes and how it fits and everything. <laughs> so downstairs we have this big dance area, which is also open to the second floor. So you can look down under, like down from the second floor to the dance floor. <laughs> and then there is also the DJ Thing where you can listen to the music and I tried to make a little guardrobe thing, guardrobe closet thing, you know, where you can give your jackets to when you enter the club. Something like that because it's quite realistic for me because in Germany we do have those things. I don't know if it's common in every country, <laughs> but in Germany we do have something like that. And so I thought um, I want to add that here as well, just for the realism <laughs> and yeah. It was a little bit of a struggle to figure out the layout of that, but I managed that. And so there is one bar downstairs and also another bar upstairs. So yeah, and another one out, no, two, two bars are actually outside. So I'm not sure if your Sims, like if you will have bartenders to every single bar in the Sims here, like in, on all the four ones. Because I don't know, I don't really play the game, <laughs> but um, I think it's it's a nice thing anyway to have that many bars and your sims. I think they can always just 
mix their own drinks? Can they? I have no idea. I'm gonna stop talking about that because it's just... I have no knowledge about this subject. Uh, but as you can see, I've added um, a swimming pool there on the side. And yeah, I think in the end it's gonna turn out looking beautiful. Now everything is still a little bit looking weird, but... It's coming together. <laughs> Here is a little outdoor area where you can sit and just enjoy your drinks outside or maybe you can even have some dinner. Uh, okay, I know I don't think you can have dinner in a club here in The Sims, but yeah, and I've added those glass roofs from Island Living so that your Sims don't get wet if they sit there, like in case it rains. And now I'm working on the exterior color. So I decided to use a platform on top just to, yeah, make it look nicer and the whole block itself or box because it looks pretty boxy to me is just black and with this little thing here I try to make some kind of highlight just some color um I don't no no I'm 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 not going to use this wallpaper <laughs> I'm going to use uh, a wallpaper from the Machino stuff pack actually which I don't really use that often so I thought it was very nice here <laughs> and it fitted really well I think and yeah, just adding wallpapers everywhere. And also, I'm, I'm sorry if this voiceover is a little bit messy or not messy, but a little bit more on the shakier side, <laughs> because I need to get back into speaking English. Like I like I've been I had a holiday for like one and a half or two weeks, I think something like that or maybe two weeks. No. No, just one and a half weeks, yeah, about that. And yeah, I, I haven't spoken any English in the whole time. So therefore, it's a little bit, um, I, I need to get back to speaking English again. <laughs> but yeah, that's just, um, yeah, because I'm not a native speaker. Right? And yeah. <laughs> also, one thing I realized about this lot. The camera is crazy. It's so annoying to build here because the camera keeps going like back and forth and up and down and then it goes suddenly very slowly, like super slow and I don't know. I don't like the cameras on pent lots, pen penthouses, but I think it's, yeah, it's the same in all the penthouses in The Sims. Like, Also, taking screenshots from those really big apartments is a pain because of that, because yeah, the, the camera is just... Does anyone know? Is there some kind of mod for anything like that which prevents the camera from like flying and jumping up and down? If yes, please tell me. I would love to know that. <laughs> so we are working more on the exterior now. And as you can see, I've added some launch chairs in the back and there are also some jumping towers, dive, diving boards. I think you call them diving boards, not jumping towers. Yeah. And also a little grass thingy there, just... I'm, I'm gonna make it ho the whole house still have my personal touch because it looks too modern for me. I'm gonna add my beloved rocks from base game, from the debug, <laughs> just to make it look a little bit cute <laughs> because it's just who I am. <laughs> I need my builds to be a little bit more on the cuter side. Uh, yeah, so here in the back back backyard, backyard, yeah, in the back of the house, I've added a little swimming, no, whirlpool. It's a whirlpool. Yeah, I've added a whirlpool. And also those columns here, they are from City Living and they also glow in the dark. I also had so much fun playing around with the lighting in the, like when I, I turned the the lighting, like the, the time to night. <laughs> and with that, I could make the lighting go just look so nice and I think it makes such a big difference if you change the color of the lightings and yeah, I'm gonna do that in a bit and if, if I do that I will, I don't know, talk more about it maybe. <laughs> yeah, and here I'm adding a big sign in front of the nightclub. I mean, you wouldn't be able to see that sign if you're like outside, downstairs, like you know, <laughs> you're not able to read that sign. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's from uh, Dine Out. And also the back thing where I placed it on is also from Dine Out. I just like sized it up a bit and just moved it around with the tool mod and all the kinds of stuff there. And here I've added those lights, which are from the bowling night stuff pack, which I like I, I never used those lights before but they look beautiful here and like those light stripes here they're actually from the spa day pack but you know those 
triangular ones, oh not really triangular, but those angled ones. I rotated them with the wifted hool mod by 90 degrees because they were like in the wrong, like they pointed upwards and downwards and that wasn't the right direction for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but they had a perfect color swatch and they inspired me to make the whole the whole uh, club here a little bit more on those with those colors there. Yeah, <laughs> so the lighting mostly is pink, but I like that. And also, of course, I had to add some fairy lights for the cuteness <laughs> because it's 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 a build of mine, and you can I guess you can see that. So yeah, so here I'm adding those stepping stones there, which I talked about earlier, just to make it more detailed, I guess. And yeah. I like those stones and I just wanted to use them because they are adorable. <laughs> yeah, and here in the back above the whirlpool I also added this kind of... Is it a pergola? Not really, but this curtain thingy there from Island Living and yeah, I think it turned out looking very cute there uh, and very nice. And also the whole lot has those bushes around it. I hope I changed I, I hope I changed the the floor the flooring under those um, bushes here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I didn't feel free to change that to some dirt or some uh, grass or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So now we are working on the pool, and yeah, this is where I'm already like also starting. Yeah, because until now I only did some layout stuff and decided wallpaper things and all. Yeah those things and now I'm starting to decorate and I'm starting with the pool area and yeah so I've added this little like steam thing in the middle steam is that how you say yeah I think that is and there are some bubbles coming up in live mode if you like yeah because it's from um, get together and it's it's very nice this item I think I just discovered that recently I think yeah somebody in twitch chat said that I could use it and because there are some bubbles and I was like really and yeah there are so I wanted to use that as well and yeah I think it turned out very nice there and also I added some floaties there just for details and just for the looks yeah and I'm using those bar stools from get together on the outside and it was very difficult to choose bar stools because none of them were really the right vibe I was going for but we managed I think the ones I chose are okay <laughs> yeah and here we have another like seating area and I, oh no I think I'm gonna yeah I'm adding those bubble machines here which is also pretty cool, I think. So you sims can have some nice, relaxing, bubble-blowing sessions here. Is that how you call it? I don't know. I, I also, like, in the sims they call it bubble blower, but yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's the same with the juice. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use and... Yeah, I'm using those chairs which are from Eco Lifestyle and the little cushions there, they are from um, the Movie Hangout stuff pack. Yes, I thought they kind of looked nicely here. And the rug I'm using is from City Living. It's the one which has this weird black background in the catalog, which they haven't fixed yet. Please, Sims team, fix that. It's so weird that this rug has a black background color while everything else has a white background color. I don't get that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm adding plants everywhere as well, just like some hanging plants and this this lovely plant there from uh, Get, no, not Get, uh, Dine Out from Dine Out. Yeah, which is one of my most favorite plants. And also these little round ones from lifestyle. I feel like I use probably every single pack in this house. <laughs> oh no, maybe not, because it's very modern, so I'm not sure if I use cottage living or like those kinds of packs which has the cute items, you know. <laughs> so here is another seating area and I paired those get-together benches with some base game plants. And here I have added more plants. I was very unsure about those plants here from uh, from from uh, Snowy Escape, but 
after looking at it for some seconds i thought yeah i kind of like it and i just kept it like this i'm still not 100 percent sure about it but i kind of wanted to look at more green so i've added that so now we are adding candles to the exterior and also those little tiny menu cards and some plants and yeah just some details that make it look more realistic i thought it wouldn't make that much sense to maybe put those little cards to all the tables because you probably like i feel like it's one of those bars where you get up to get your dream it drinks you know because Sometimes you sit on a table, like at least in Germany, you sit at the table, not on the table. That would be weird. <laughs> you sit at the table and uh, wait for somebody to come to you and then they like ask what you want to have and then you can order and all kinds of stuff. That's how it is in Germany. Or you can also like go up yourself and get your coffee or get your juice by yourself from the bar, you know. And I feel like it's the second thing here. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm doing some landscaping now, which is always a little bit weird to do when it's a penthouse, I feel like, because we can't really, we don't have any terrain paint and I'm missing my terrain paint in those kinds of situations because for me it looks so weird not having terrain paint underneath those, those flowers there and I didn't want to use the normal floor tiles because then it would be so like strict lines you know this it looked like it would look very like yeah i don't know i i didn't like that so i just chose to place them on grass and not have any dirt under it but yeah that's how it is now i hope you don't mind <laughs> so now i'm adding some candles here to that little barbecue not barbecue it's a fireplace area yeah also like i feel like this house here like this nightclub in germany it wouldn't be allowed because there are so many possible like uh, things where you can hurt yourself or things that could go, could go wrong in a nightclub i don't know if there's any nightclub in germany with a swimming pool because we are very strict about some certain things i think and yeah also the fire pit there in the front I think that would be a very big, uh, very big fire hazard, which probably nobody would allow. But it still, it still looks nice. I think I would love to have a party here with my friends. That would be cool. <laughs> you know, like you can like dance there or you can sit there and yeah. But I, I don't have that many friends to fill up the whole space. <laughs> like <laughs> there are like, probably hundreds of people who could go in here like easily. <laughs> well, but I still think it looks like a very nice place to be. <laughs> so I'm adding those lighting columns everywhere because they light in the dark and they make it look nicer and yeah basically that's my intention about that and in the middle here i'm also adding some fairy lights i don't know if it makes that much sense to have those kinds of lights in a club but i like them yeah and also of course this nightclub is going into my save file i think every single community lot that i'm building is definitely going into my save file because i'm not that big of a community lot builder like sometimes every now and then i'm in the mood to build them but it doesn't happen that often i really want to get better at building community lots because i know that a lot of people like them and i know that for my save file i will need them <laughs> because like i'm working on a save file i talked about that a couple of times but if you're new to the channel or something i'm working on that like a save file where i'm adding my own houses to it and my own like families and everything so that you can uh, play with that and you don't have any weird looking houses or weird looking sims <laughs> and i really try to make everything match together so that the certain neighborhoods have a theme kind of and yeah i'm looking so much forward to, forward to add everything like all the details to the neighborhoods with the tool mod <laughs> like probably not too many details because i think if i'm gonna add so many items the game will probably get slower for people who don't have like a super good perfect pc <laughs> and if i'm gonna add items everywhere like also with the tool mod around the neighborhood it probably will be a little bit 
laggy for some people. So that's what I'm also trying to keep in mind. But I'm looking so much forward to that. It, I'm having so much fun with that save file, actually. But I still need to create a lot of sims for that, which I'm looking uh, not so forward to, because creating sims is definitely not my strength, because they, like, for me, they all look the same. But I think... Uh, it's gonna be a nice practice because there are like, I don't know, at least 100 families that I would need to create, I think. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm also trying to make a starter home in every neighborhood because I think that's very useful. <laughs> and yeah, so if you have any other ideas, please tell me about, like, ideas about the safe file. Please tell me. I would love to, like, get some input there if you have any. <laughs> So yeah, back to the build. As you can see, I decorated the whole exterior and added those dining tables there or like tables. Basically, they're not used for dining here, I think. And yeah, I'm decorating the dancing area a little bit more. I added those lighting stripes there in, as well on the interior. They are from Spade, as I already said. And the tool mod or the better, no, I think it's the better build by. The better build by mod by Twisted Maxi was so helpful because with that mod you can change the lighting color in build mode and that's just so useful. So yeah, <laughs> I was very happy about that because then I like otherwise I would have to switch to live mode all the time and that's just annoying so i'm very happy how i did that here so yeah here is the little entrance area because there is also an entrance here yes we have that elevator here i i would have loved to put like two elevators here in the apartment not apartment in the whole um, area but you can only have one elevator per penthouse which is like why <laughs> i mean your sims they are like i don't i don't know it didn't it doesn't make that much sense to me to have only one because you can't see the interior of the house anyway like downstairs where it looks like maybe they just place down one elevator downstairs and yeah 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 i don't know um but anyways here i'm changing up the flooring of that little dj area and i used this rug which is from oh from the the halloween stuff pack <laughs> i did not expect it to use this rug here in the in this house i definitely did not expect that like to use any item from that pack but um <laughs> i like rotated the little single pieces a bit and also I um, used the triangular win uh, the, the triangular tiles you know you can do that if you have your floor tile on the mouse kind of thing <laughs> you can press shift and wait I think it was shift and F something like that I think it was and then you can have those uh, triangular tiles which is very nice and yeah so now we are already decorating upstairs oh yeah i already finished downstairs downstairs there's just a little like there are those long chairs everywhere like those armchairs where you can just sit and upstairs here i decided to add bar stools everywhere and also bar tables like the higher ones and also some chairs but not that many yeah, <laughs> and there is also a bathroom in the back there, which I also will decorate, of course. There are only two toilets, but I feel like, is that, well, is that enough? Please tell me, I don't do gameplay. Is that enough, two toilets for a location like this? Or is it annoying because you have to wait on, you have to like, wait until the sims are finished in there, the townies? I don't know. Hmm. Well, but I had fun decorating the toilets here <laughs> because, um, yeah, I don't know. You can make so many details in them. I feel like when it comes to uh, like those kinds of community toilets, because get to work actually has some very nice items for that. <laughs> and I had so much fun using that sink from Eco Lifestyle. Yeah, 
but we are almost finished actually because the bathroom is the last room that we are decorating as most of the types so i really hope that you enjoyed this build if you did please give it a thumbs up that would really help me out and i would appreciate it a lot and you can find the build on the gallery my id is sunny simsy yt and you can also find the tray files on my patreon it's linked in the description box and yeah thank you so so much for watching and i hope i will see you all in the next video goodbye